We're going to continue on with these and establish the derivative of k using the, the notation. So k prime is going to be equal to, so this is a quotient function, so it will be f prime times g minus f g prime all over g squared. There's my derivative. I need to, in notation form, I need to find, evaluate the k prime value at x equals 0. That means I need f prime at 0. I need g at 0. I need f at 0. g prime at 0. And I'm going to divide it by g at 0 squared. So I need to find all those values at x equals 0. So I'm going to again go back up to my table. At x equals 0, I have f, f prime is 2 and 1. g and g prime are 5 and negative 4. I'm just going to write these down and because I'm going to forget them. So 2, 1, 5, negative 4. So that's f, f prime, g, g prime. Okay, so I'm going to plug those values into my expression. I'm just going to scroll down here. Oops, how am I going to get down here? Bear with me for a second while I just kind of get those values down there. Okay, so there's my, I'm just going to shift these down again a bit, a little bit further so I can see it. So that's my f, f prime, g, g prime. So then I plug those values in. So f prime of 0 was 1. g prime of 0, or g of 0 was 5. Minus f of 0 was 2 and g prime was negative 4. And that's all divided by g squared, so g was 5 squared. And so simplifying this expression, it's going to be 5 minus negative 8, so it's going to be 5 plus 8 over 5 squared. So the answer is c. This is an embedded function, so when I differentiate m, to get m prime, I'm going to differentiate the outside function first, and I'm going to multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. Okay, so now in this case here, I've got to use my output of g as my input of f prime. So, first thing is I need to find, well, I'm going to evaluate m, the derivative at 1. So that means I need the g at 1, and that will establish my, my input variable for to calculate this, the f prime part of it, and I need the g prime at 1. Okay, so I'm just going to do the g's first. I have to do this in steps. So I'm going to first of all go up to g, the graph, the table, and I need at x equals 1, I'm going to need g and g prime. So g and g prime were 3 and negative 3. So 3 and negative 3. g was 3, g prime was negative 3. So I just have to remember that I still have cannot evaluate the f prime yet. But I worked out the value of g prime. g prime is equal to negative 3. To get a value for this, I have to now go back to my table and I need the f prime value at x equals 3. So I have to do this in steps. So x equals 3 f prime was equal to 4. So I plug that into my expression. This is going to be equal to 4 times negative 3, and that gives me negative 12 as the slope value at x equals 1. And again, I first of all differentiated the notation. I then 
worked out the values of this input here and the g prime here i still have to use this as an input to get an output for f prime 